Hello everyone and welcome to The Letterhead. In this week's video I'll be showing you step by step how to draw your very own lettering. So you can start hand painting your very own text today. So you can go from a blank canvas to hand painted lettering. So let's do it. So first the only things you're going to need for this is some paper, a pencil and a straight edge or ruler, depending on what you want to call it. So to make it simple, I'm just going to have five inch deep letters and I'm going to try and fit for sale onto here. And I think it will just about fit. We're going to find out together. Let's do it. So do, 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 if it's nine and five inch, let's do two and seven. Two and seven, two and seven. So what I've done this for is for some very basic top and bottom lines. I'm going to do the markings quite heavy so you guys can see them really well. Although a lot of these markings you won't want to do it too heavy because uh, sometimes you might not be able to get it off. So when you're doing this, you generally want to do it quite light at first. Okay, so something like that. Now I know this is 22 inches. So we put 11, so we got a middle. I'll check it, 11. Oh, it's a bit Okay, do, 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 something like that. Now we put a middle line. Okay, right, that's a good place to start. So, right, so for sale, so only seven letters, but we're going to leave room for a space in the middle somewhere around here. Uh, let's start do, do, around. Because it's a very condensed font, you're not going to need that much space for despite the let. You're not going to need that much space despite the fact that the letters are quite big. So let's try and aim for two inches in both ways. And we'll see how we get on. All right, so for this font, mm, let's put two up there quickly first. So for this font, everything is quite straight. So it's be quite straightforward for us to mark it out. Let's get started. So this is the very edge. This is where we'll, we'll begin. So obviously for sale, we'll have an F right here and the F will start there. We'll Bump that up to there. So the F, oh, uh, probably about, let's do two inches. Five inches, two inches, so then we'll have. Uh, da, 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 da. What kind of spacing? Oh, it's quite close. Look at that there. So let's not have much of a gap. Something like that. No, something like that. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, oh, we're going to have probably pr pr around. Two and a quarter, maybe. Okay. Now, O and the R, they are quite high, so we're going to leave a little bit more gap than we did here. They're both straight letters, so they're going to need a little bit more breathing room than the O and the R did. So let's go something like that. R. Two and a quarter, something like that. And we have an inch space. Mm, let's have an inch and a quarter. Yeah, let's do that. So, and now we're going to have the S here. Uh, S, we'll do two and a quarter. Now, the A, that's going to tuck 
underneath the S, the curve of the S. So we're not going to need that much of a gap at all. If I try to take that pretty close, let's try that. S. And then A. Oh, it's quite big. Let's do two and a half. Uh, a and L. Once again, the A. The, um, it has a point that there's going to be a lot of space around here. So we're going to have the L a little bit closer. Something like that. So L, I guess, uh, probably around two inches. And E, oh yeah, I'm a little bit out. Okay. A quarter of an inch out. Ah, no, hang on. So that's the L. Ah, yeah, of course. Go have a gap. Excellent, excellent. <coughs> so L, we're not going to have much of a gap on this one. Either. Let's try that. E, try a quarter. Oh, that is going to be a slightly big E. No, that should be fine. No, no, actually, that should be good. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay, that works out pretty good. All right, two inches in, excellent. Excellent, that worked really, really well. Okay. Well, now I'll be honest, it wasn't entirely luck that I managed to space this out quite well. I did have a brief check and I worked it out uh, that this should fit in this size. So it wasn't entirely guesswork. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna mark where my places go and I'm going to repeat this at the top we are going to get some boxes for these letters to sit into and once we have those boxes there I'll help us get everything down Right, okay. Let's put that back and we'll do the other ones. Let's just make our little boxes. You'll be able to see roughly if it's going straight as well because you've already got some parallel lines on there. Let's do a nice little box there for the F and the O, the other side of the O, the R, and the other side of the R, S. Good, we are recording excellent. And the other side of the S A A That does look a little far away from me No, well, stick with it You've already done it Let's find out L And then E Okay, that should work okay. So now for the stroke, it is quite a thick condensed font. So let's do, let's be bold. Yeah, let's be really bold, literally. Let's do three quarter of an inch stroke. How about that? Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So F, we got four, so we can start off with that parallel stroke straight away. Get that up there. I'd like to see the other line as well, just to check I am going straight. And we could probably do that a little bit thicker. That's better. Got to be able to paint it after all. So, if this is three quarters, now, the bottom strokes are going to be a little bit thinner than that. So instead of three quarters, we are going to do 
Uh, should I do five eighths? That might be a bit much. No, let's do five eighths. Yep. Let's stick with five eighths. Right, okay, let's do the bottom one first. So, da -da, that's it. And then five eighths. Now, a lot of the times I do genuine. Now, a lot of the times I do generally use metric as I was kind of raised on the metric system being in the UK. But I've, in real recent years, I've got used to, um, to feet and inches, mostly to do with the fact that I live in Canada now. So here we are, learning feet and inches, living in the old world. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so now this is our stroke width. We're probably going to need this going all the way along the bottom as well. So let's quickly do this. Five, six. We'll just put that in the middle. A five, eight, sorry. Five, eight. And another one. Five, eight. There we go. And we're going to do the same at the bottom. Five eighths. And then one in the middle. Right, now these lines, we're going to do these a little bit fainter. Because not every letter is going to need these. But they're coming very useful. That's better, that's good. It's starting to look like a grid we can work with. Uh -oh. Okay, something like that. Right, another thing we're gonna need is a line straight down the middle. Oh, that's centimeters. Let's do it in inches. We're working in inches. So two and a half. This is our center line. Going straight down the, straight across the middle of all the letters. Let's do that do, 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 now. Now this is mostly for visual cues. So we'll do this quite light as well. Most of the time, this won't be part of your letter. Right, there we go, there we go. Okay, so now for the F, we already have a lot of our letter here. So, let's do this. We've got, that's the very edge of our F. We've got our, our thinner stroke. Like that. And... We're going to have this, this crossbar here. We're going to have that sitting on the middle line. So we had five eighths. We're going to sit that on that line. And we're going to stick that there. Actually, you know what? No, let's not do that one. No, I've changed my mind. Let's not do that one. Let's do it slightly different. Let's do... So it is going to be slightly higher than the bottom one. So let's put it... We did five apes. So let's do that. Zero. Let's do a one. Zero and... Let's try that. Yeah, that should work pretty nice. So now we're not going to have this going quite out as far as our top one. I'm going to make sure it's parallel. Somewhere like that. Bring that over.
two and one eight. Bring that over. And this is our F. Okay, so we have our F there. Now we're going to start of our O. So we can start our side lines here and here. And these will be the outside edges of our O. And of course, we've already got our line here and here. We know our width, our stroke width. There we go, three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna put that in, three quarters of an inch there. And three quarters of an inch there. One more here. And one more here. So we put another stroke in. Something like that, except we're going to change this around a little bit. So now remember when you're doing your rounds, you want to be ever so slightly above that at the very top. So when we're doing this the first time, I'm just going to dot it on just so I can get a rough idea of where I'm going with this one. I feel like having a pretty flat top, so let's do something like that. Except I'm a bit higher. Yeah, pretty damn high. Let's take that down. So let's start the curve. Dot 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 dot. Something like that. Except much more round. Blimey, I'm really not having fun today. Okay. And we're gonna take these down a bit too. Uh, let's try a little bit more. Okay, how's that? And we're gonna bring this up. Oh, crikey. Right, there we go. Let me bring that up. Okay. I'm going to do the same kind of curve as we did up there. Something like that. Okay, so we have our O. Let's get rid of that, I'm making it all confusing. That's it. So F and O. Not a great O, but it's an O. I wish I could lean over a little more. But there we go. It's an O. Now we're going to have an R. Okay, it's still recording, good. So, R. All the way to the top. That's it. Oh, that's a little crooked. Let's try to straighten that out. How's that? That should be a little better. So, oh, we have our other side as well. Keep that faint. Right. 
So we got the thickness of our stroke, three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna snap that on there. And that's our basic shape there. So now we've already, because of this line, we have our thinner stroke, which goes across. And we've got our center line here now too. So we want this to be the same. I'm gonna bring that in. So our R is gonna come out like that. And that's where the stroke's gonna come in. We're gonna have a stroke at the top and the bottom there. And we wanna get our curves like that. So as we come across there, that's gonna be our edge. So we're gonna put three quarters here. And we're gonna put three quarters there too. We're gonna do a very slight line on the top. That's it. So R R is our R is gonna come like that. And it's gonna start bending round. And it's gonna go down. Bend it in. Like that. Now for this one. Let's go. down and when you get to here you want to start coming in something like that we're going to see how that goes I love. and this is going to come out here something like that Okay, so now let's put our strokes in there. <laughs> Actually, you know what? When we get to the bottom, let's taper it out a bit like that. So let's go like that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice indeed. I like that. There we have four. Okay, so now let's do the S. So we've got our sideline here, and this is going to use up, make up the sum of the side of the S. So let's have our thickness out of the way. So three quarters of an inch. And the same again down here. Three quarters of an inch. And to make things easier now, let's just do the other side in. And one at the top. Okay. So now, now we've got some upward strokes. So we're going to take our thickness here, which is five apes, isn't it? Yep. And we're going to slap that right in the middle there.
right, so we're going to bring our S down to somewhere like that. Uh, maybe might not be enough. We're going to find out. First of all, let's put a bit on there. Now we have some of our shape of the S. Excellent. Bring that down. That's going to come down somewhere like that. Come across. This is going to come down. Oh, too high. Yep. Not too high. Like that. And then this is going to go back down again. Something like that. This is going to come back down here. Except more like the other curves there like that. That's it, nearly there. I'll try to speed things along so I can keep the video flowing a bit better. But you'll be able to see what I'm doing and uh and work with that. But it's my simple take on a condensed sans serif font. Not sure what I think of it yet. We're going to find out and see at the end. I'm tempted to bring that verb down. Although I like its chunkiness. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to find out together. That's kind of nice. <coughs> I might bring that in at an angle actually. Yeah, I'm going to see that in a minute. So something like that. Bring that down. That's going to have a curve. Bring that down. That's going to have curve to right let's just keep it moving ah that's not very good you're gonna keep it moving but it's gotta be good right something like that let's bring this down a bit more i want it to be even with the bottom though so let's bring that down and let's Give it a little angle there. Let's try that. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's not too bad. 
Let's give that a go. We'll roll with that. Well, that's the thing. It's all really about a bit of fun. So, what we're going to do with the A, and that is quite close, that's going to work out quite well. That's going to work out quite good. Maybe even a little too snug. But, anyway, with an A, we're going to need a centre mark. So I've got two and a half, let's have one and a quarter, like that. And we're going to run this down all the way, so I can get a nice middle mark, because this is a symmetrical layer. Meaning you're going to want both sides to look exactly the same. Otherwise they're going to look weird. So three quarters of an inch. This is going to make the strokes a little bit thin. That should work pretty well. Okay, three quarters of an inch, isn't it? Yeah, good. Let's do that. Three quarters of an inch. And three quarters of an inch. Let's see what that's like. Oh, that's going to be very top heavy. Let's find out. Right now, L is a ridiculously easy letter to do. This should only take a few moments. Now we have our stroke, three quarters of an inch. And the same again. And we can chuck on a nice solid line on there. Like so. And we've already got the end of our layer. Chuck that on. And that's the owl. I've been tempted to thicken these up. They're a little bit thin. But like now. So, let's take this on. Over. We're going to put our stroke in here. Right, there we go. Now let's make these the same. So, 
Yeah, we already have our marks on there, of course we do. Excellent. One, two, one, two. And we're not gonna have it coming all the way out for the middle ball. That's that. That's that. That's that, and there you have it. Very rudimental, basic for sale layering. Spacing's a little bit bigger here. Probably try to emphasize closing up this gap a little bit too much at the beginning. Probably a little bit too close here. Bit too much spacing on this side. But overall, looks pretty nice. So now we've got everything else on. Let's tidy this up a bit so we can, now we can see what we've really got. Let's get rid of all of these. And there we go, that's all ready to go. So now the lettering's all marked out and we can start the painting. For today I'm gonna to be using these MAC quill brushes. Uh, these are brown squirrel hair and I thought I'd use these ones because they hold a lot of paint and this paper tends to, um, to soak in a lot of paint. So you have to keep going over it or use a brush that can hold a lot of paint. So although the paper was really easy to draw onto, really not the best surface to write onto. And although the finished lettering didn't turn out very good, I really hope that it taught you something about how to actually draw up the letters, rather than how to actually paint them. So what I'd recommend to get around this is that you can do your drawings onto a piece of paper, and then from there you can trace it out to a more suitable surface. Something you can get a nice straight edge with. And uh, although I've only covered one style today, th this technique should work over several different styles of lettering. So if you box off your letters and you work out how far your distances are and work out your spacing, you should be able to draw out most lettering using this kind of technique. In the future I'll probably show more videos on different styles of fonts as well, so you can get a grasp on how different types of lettering work. So while I'm doing that, I'd love to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel. We are getting so many new subscribers and that's really, really great. I'm so happy that people are finding a lot of value from my videos. I do want to apologize for the inconsistency of the video releases though. It is sometimes difficult to guess how long it will take to record and work on each video. And sometimes my timing can be a bit off. But don't worry, I'm always working on new ideas and getting some new great stuff together. I don't really want to keep releasing the same old boring content, I want to make sure that you guys are getting the most from it and that I don't get too repetitive in what I do. So now if you got some value from this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing as well. So I've been Lewis the Layhead, and until next time, bye-bye.